For more problems and videos like this for linear algebra, you can take a look at Surai Studies. Link is in the description box below. Before we move on, I wanted to make a clarification. Notice that any time we're performing a procedure to either get our matrix in row echelon form or reduce row echelon form, we're performing it on matrix A. And that matrix A is just your coefficient matrix. It's not A of B. That's your augmented matrix. That would look something like this. That would be your augmented matrix. So in some future videos, I say, okay, you're given a system, rewrite it into the augmented matrix. And then, because I was a little bit lazy, I just wrote row echelon form of the augmented matrix. But technically speaking, we're only doing row echelon form of matrix A of the coefficient matrix. So anytime we're checking conditions and finding out if our matrix is in row echelon form, we're only looking at the coefficient matrix, not the entire thing. So technically speaking, this is supposed to be ref of A, and then reduce row echelon form of A, and so on. This only makes the difference when we're talking about vocabulary. For example, if I asked you to find out if this matrix is in row echelon form, then you would check ZO, and then you would ask yourself, are all the zero rows at the bottom of the matrix? And then you would say, well, is this considered a zero row? Are we looking at the entire row, or are we just looking at this row right here? Well, remember that row echelon form only applies to the coefficient matrix, so you only should be looking at this when checking the conditions for row echelon form. So yes, in coefficient matrix A, there is a zero row and it is at the bottom of the matrix. So in other words, when you're dealing with an augmented column, yes, you can perform row echelon form, but just know that when you're checking conditions, you're only looking at this. You can just ignore this until you're actually doing operations and you actually have to change the values. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.